So we've been looking at print options and there's still a few more things that I want to fix here. We are looking at that arrow, which is causing the third page there, just a little bit of a smidge of the tail end of that arrows bleeding into a third page, which is otherwise blank. And then I got my chart. I'm cutting off that chart. It's going into page two. What I really like to do is have my spreadsheet on page one and the chart all by itself fully on page two. So let's take a look at how we can adjust this. We've seen some options in print preview, but I'm going to take us into another view. This is called the page layout view. I'm going to hit the back arrow here to take me back to the main Excel interface. I'm going to go up to my view tab, top of the screen, and on the far left, we've got our workbook views. The most standard view, the one that you're going to spend most of your time in and do all your work, is called the normal view. And that's what you're looking at right now. It looks like Excel. Well, we've got a new one. This was actually introduced in the 2010 edition of Excel called Page Layout. And what Page Layout does is it treats the document more like a Word document where you can actually see literally the pages. But the nice thing here is you can still manipulate your data and the structure and the layout on individual pages. Watch this. So view to page layout. So this changes my view and I'm going to zoom out so we can really see this here. You can see that I've got individual pages. There's page one, there's page two, and that little, little guy right there, page three. So I need to fix that first. I'm going to go fix that little arrow. We'll select my arrow here and I'm just going to pull that in. Get that, get that, get that. Oh, I think I might be grab. Oh, there we go. All right, good. So I've pulled that over. We should no longer be printing on that page there. And how about my chart? I want to put that all by itself. So I'm just going to grab that and pull it down to this page here. You know, and since I can see what the page actually looks like, I'm going to center that right on the page. There we go. All right. Now I'm still seeing this page here. Let's, let's go take a look inside of our print preview. See if I'm still getting a third page. So I'm going to go back to file and print. And let's see. Oh, you know what? I got my chart selected still. You notice that because I have my chart selected, it's only showing me one page down here below. So I got to go back out. I'm going to click someplace empty just to deselect that chart. And then I'm going to go back to file, back to print. Look at that. I'm still getting that third page. Oh, there it is. Oh, I just. <laughs> There's still just a little bit of a smidge of red inside there. Let's go fix that. I'm going to hit my back arrow. Let's get back out here. This might be just an artifact inside of my Excel. There it goes. Had to shrink it up just a little bit more. And that third page is no longer active. All right. Must be just too close to that, that margin there. So now I've got two pages. And just adjusting this all through the page layout view. I don't have to worry about scaling. I don't have to worry about trying to monkey around with the margins anymore jump into the page layout and make your adjustments there. There are live adjustments. We get to see what the literal document looks like as it's going to be printed on its individual pages. A very active, very accessible environment. So try this out. Jump up to your view tab, go into page layout, adjust your document, make it look good on the page. When you're all done, you can go right back to normal view, back into just standard Excel. So try this out.